Hi guys, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Um, in this video, I wanted to show you how I created this Instagram um, 3D uh, cutout effect. I've seen this around and I always wanted to create my own version of it. So it is, uh, I want to show you step by step on how I created this particular one. So uh, let's get started here. Before we go any further, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of more videos I'm putting out soon. Here is uh, the base image or the Instagram interface I created. Um, I will place a link in the description box where you can download a cut, uh, and customize your own version of this with your username, etc. and links to the images as well. So let me get started with this image. So, um, here is the image. I put. Now, obviously, what we want is the motorbike to come out of the frame onto this white section here, onto the Instagram section, if you want to call it that. Now, first, I'm going to put a line at the start or at the start or the end of this white box here, so I know where that bit ends. Because in the next step, I'm going to need that that uh, that that line. I'm going to right click and duplicate this image. And I'm going to move it above the um, the Instagram interface image. Now, as you can see, it's it's there, but not quite. So what I'm going to do now, now as you can see, this line here, anything underneath this line will be on that white in that white area or in in this area here, the Instagram uh, area. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to object select and do a quick selection my only concern is anything below this line anything above is fine because it will still remain in the original image now look it's not done a bad selection I will need to clean it up later so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a uh, layer mask and see that it now looks like it's coming out of the uh, um, popping out or that pop out effect onto the white area there. So if I hide that, you can see. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to use a slightly small brush with a bit of softness to it. And I'm going to make sure the, um, the foreground is cleared to black so I can remove stuff. So I zoom in and I'm just going to clean up these edges here. Now, for the purpose of this video, uh, I'm going fast. You know, when it comes to doing your one, just take your time and make sure you get those nice edges. Uh, this bit here, I'll make it a smaller brush. Even smaller, because I need to go up to this line uh, this rule line here, that's why it's there as a guide. So that's it, that looks good already. Now, just to add a little bit more depth or dimension to the image, I'm going to add a shadow underneath the, the motorbike. So, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a, a circular shape, draw it under the motorbike, Command T or Control T, and just to move so I can move it a bit. Okay, that should do it. Now I'm going to add a, a, a blur to it. So I'm going to go filter, blur, glazing blur, convert, obviously that's going to pop up. I'm going to probably too much. Probably a six will do. Click OK. I'm going to bring down the opacity just slightly. And that's it. Now I can move this line out of the way. And that's it. That's uh, easy it was. Now you can uh, save it as a JPEG or PNG file and share it um, on your social media platforms. Hope you enjoyed that guys. Hope you got something out of it. Hope it at least inspired you to create your own artwork. Would love to see your work. So don't forget to comment below and add your link in, um, in the comments box. Like I said before, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Thanks for watching.